So this is Steve, and we're here with Dave. Uh, Dave is coming to Fort Wayne. Uh, we're in Toledo right now, but he's coming to Fort Wayne for the River Summit that we're having in April. Uh, Dave, what are you going to be talking about? I'm going to uh, specify uh, and, and concentrate on what happens out in the lake uh, with all of the uh, runoff that comes down all of our rivers, and primarily the Maumee River. Uh, we have had issues, of course, with the algae. Uh, we have some fish issues out there. Uh, I make my living on the lake. I'm a charter boat captain. And uh, what comes down the river does affect us and our business and also the tourism business in Ohio. And, and you're talking about anything that comes down the river, herbicides, uh, pesticides, anything that's sprayed on a field, garbage that's thrown in. You're talking about the whole ball of works. It ends up in your neighborhood. Exactly. Yeah. It's not just necessarily the chemicals. Uh, back in 2011, I actually uh, uh, ruined the, the lower unit of one of my motors when I hit something that was submerged in the lake. Uh, if you remember back to 2011, we had some many massive rainfall events and it dumped a lot of lumber, uh, trees, and all sorts of things out in the lake uh, that created some navigation issues. So have things gotten worse? Have they gotten better? Where are we at with things? It depends on who you talk to, but from our aspect, uh, we're kind of barely holding our own. Obviously, last year was a disaster with Toledo. Uh, I live in Carroll Township, and in 2013, we had our water uh, basically, well, we had the do not drink order, and uh, we were the first ones in Ohio to have, have that happen. So that was a year before Toledo's event for the same issue. We had a, a massive algal bloom that got blown in next to the shore. Uh, the intake uh, sucked it in, and the treatment facility could not handle the amount of toxin that was in the water. Same situation has happened in Toledo. So why should someone uh, want to attend the River Summit and, and, and what message do you have for them as far as the importance of this? Well, my message is what, what you do affects downstream. Uh, when I do presentations, my very last slide says, remember, we all live downstream. And you're going to affect someone somehow. Uh, in, in our case, we lose business because people do not want to come up to the lake because they hear the horror stories about the algae. They've heard, uh, obviously, about Toledo and the do not drink issues. So it, it tends to have people start to look other places for vacation. Uh, and I'm not just talking the fishing now. We're talking any of the lake recreation, boating, sailing, going to the beach, uh, doing anything along the lake at all. Uh, tourism is a huge industry in Ohio. It actually makes up 28% of Ohio's total dollars, and that's just the eight counties that border Lake Erie. Uh, so it's a big, big industry. We're talking almost $13 billion, and almost 120,000 people are directly employed in full-time jobs based on the tourism industry that Lake Erie brings in. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, please be aware of, of what you're doing around the water. Everyone is a part of this and everyone can help, starting with personally on your lawns uh, and just learn about what's going on, what causes these problems. Talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to your family, spread the word. We all need to make this better. Well, Dave, we appreciate your time and we can't wait to see you in Fort Wayne in April for the River Summit. Thank you very much.